Welcome back to another video by I Get Trades. Today what I'll be showing you is how to create a volume alert on a permanent basis. That way if you're not actually watching a chart or a specific stock at a particular moment, you could get an alert to let you know that volume is starting to come in or volume is coming back if there was volume earlier but then it kind of died down. This has been a game changer for me, so I'm hoping that it will also help you. And if it does, don't forget to subscribe and, and hit that like button. Now, first thing I like to do is get an idea for the volume and the trend of the volume. Now, obviously, we don't have a full view of the day as the day is starting out. So I kind of use the first 90 minutes. It's kind of like a weather vane to kind of see where things are starting to pop and things are starting to happen. And to do that and to just kind of you know get that idea what I like to do is draw a little trend or resistance line if we want to call it that and to do so I come down here to my drawing and I choose the price level drawing and I simply come over here and in the area where it's starting to kind of touch and, and get green kind of put a price level in. and on this chart it's looking to be around 500,000 so I'll do that and boom you can see that we have a nice little line here and and we have these little spikes that take place and if you see the the correlation here with the chart it, it tends to pick up and obviously here we had a bigger run as you can see and as it picks up throughout the day it really picked up which is why this chart is such a great example but here you know you could right click on this line and if you want you could go to edit properties and manually put in an exact number. So let's say we want to make it 500,000 exactly. Okay. We're going to hit okay. And now it automatically moved that chart or sorry, that line down to the 500,000 level. Now this is 500,000 volume on a per minute basis that we're going to set an alert for. So now that we have that set up and and we kind of got an idea that 500,000 is when action really starts to pick up and come in and and make this stock move obviously we want to set an alert for that so what we'll do is go to market watch and go down to alerts another thing you could do is just click on market watch and then click on alerts right here the next thing we'll do is actually enter the stock symbol so we're going to do NNDM which is this particular stock that we're looking at right now and you'll have a few uh, other pieces of information show up but what we're going to do is come all the way to the right where it says study alert. We're going to click on that. And then the next very important part, and it's a little bit hidden, is to come right here next to where it says conditional setup. You have this box here. And this is going to determine the frequency, the time of this alert and how often it's going to check. And I like to use the per minute basis. So we're going to put it on one minute. And once we've done that, we're going to go here to this edit box. Now, it already has volume in here because I've created it, but when you first set this up, it's just going to have these four options, value, study, function, and price. And what you want to do is go to price, and you'll get a list of options. And this is in alphabetical order, so as you scroll down, you're going to find volume. So we'll click on volume. You don't touch anything under offset. You don't ch touch anything under parameters. Next thing, we'll go to this middle section, and we're going to click on is greater than or equal to. Okay? And once you've done that, you'll come here to this drop-down, and you'll have four options again. But in this case, you're going to click on value. And when you click on value, we're going to put the actual number that we want the alert to go off at. Now, we set that little resistance line at 500,000. So what I like to do is get a little bit ahead of that. So I'm going to make it 490,000. Okay. And once we've done that, we hit save. It's going to refresh here, and you're simply going to hit create alert. Now, you'll see here, volume is greater than or equal to 490,000. And you're going to create the alert. Boom. So right here... The alert just popped up. I mean, it didn't go off, but it's showing that we created the alert under NNDM on a one-minute basis when volume is greater than or equal to 490,000. Right now, it's currently false because the volume isn't there, okay? And it's currently active. 
Okay, you want to add some notes, you can add some notes. I never use that personally. And then the cool little trick here is if, say you want to cancel it, okay, you have this right here, these actions. You could cancel the alert, but let's say you want to reactivate the alert or it already went off and you want to set it again for the next time the volume comes in. You simply come right here, you hit this little refresh symbol, it's going to show up here with everything ready to go. All you have to do is hit create. Now if you want to go in there and change that amount, just have whatever stock symbol you want. If it's the same one, you could go right to study alert and it'll save the last thing you put in here. So you could simply go straight to edit and let's say now the volume's really picked up and you want it to be 750,000 or you want to put multiple alerts, one at 500,000, one at 750,000, one at a million. You could go, you could go crazy with this. So you just hit save again. You'll create your new alert, and as you can see, we now have two alerts, one for 490,000, one for 750,000. This is completely up to you as to where you want to set that volume, but going back to um, our chart, uh, what I do is create this little resistance line here just to get an idea of where it's at, and if you notice here, it says it's in the millions right here. Sometimes this will say thousands. So it'll show 10,000, 25,000, 50,000. So it's very important that you pay attention to where the volume is at on a per minute basis on a stock. But you want to look at this as just as a group of traders, right? So not uh, you got a little bit trading here at the open, but then you know the traders leave. Then they uh, a few traders come back and then they leave. Then it it starts to pick up a little bit and you start to get some buying and some selling. Keep in mind that just because there's volume doesn't mean that it's going to go up. It could be selling volume, you know. So if you have hard volume and it's red, then then it's selling off. Like in this case right here, you see you have more red than you have green. All right. But then you got this right here. This would set off our alert. And if you notice, there's a nice little jump here, and it actually started a nice little uptrend. And when it really picks up here, you could see the potential of what it can do to the stock. And that's why for me having a volume alert is such a big deal and such a game changer. I really hope that this can help you out uh, and, and, and help you make some more money on your next trades or you know help you keep your eyes on, on multiple stocks at once without actually having to have all the charts up at once because you could depend on your volume alerts to let you know when traders start coming in and, and it starts picking up and, and that could definitely mean a big run here depending on, on the time of day and, and the stock and any other, you know, um, studies that you use or, or technical indicators that you use uh, to read your charts. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy.